Hey guys, I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. Today, we're gonna make a classic French recipe. You may have had it before, steak and frites. Okay, so first off, if you're wondering what frites are, frites are French for french fries, which is interesting, but that's a whole other subject. So, I didn't make french fries from scratch today. Sorry, that could be another video, but today we are not deep frying. We are just simply using <laughs> some frozen french fries, which we are going to bake. Yay, easy, right? Set your oven to 450, stick it in there for about 20 to 25 minutes, and we'll get going after that. Okay, now that our fruits are in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, we're going to make an aioli sauce to dip them in. Now, if you've never made an aioli sauce, you're not alone. This is my first time too. <laughs> I didn't realize how easy it is. It's very, very simple. But before we even do that, there's one more thing that you should be doing right now. It's very easy. Have your steak be resting in room temperature for 20 minutes. I have a New York strip steak. We're gonna grill this in two seconds, but let's make our aioli first. Okay, for our aioli sauce, it's really, really easy. You're gonna take a half cup of mayonnaise, two garlic cloves, you're gonna smash those or press them, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and two tablespoons olive oil. So, we have our mayonnaise already out. Let's just cut our lemon in half and squeeze out a lemon. You have a lemon press, go for it, or if you're lazy like me, just squeeze it over your hand so all the seeds can catch in your hand. So they don't go into your lovely aioli sauce going to add next two pressed garlic cloves. I'm going to use a really big one. <laughs> maybe, maybe a smaller one because that feels like a lot of garlic for <laughs> one thing. Okay, next we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. So, simply stir this around and then we're going to add our salt and pepper. So, as you can see, I'm starting to really get a nice creamy aioli sauce. Are you so surprised how easy this is? Yeah, this is when you're like, can I get aioli sauce on the side? Because it sounds super cool and like fancy. Well, now you just made your own. Next, we're gonna fire up our little grill. I have one of those cast iron grills I'm gonna set on top of my stove at a high heat. With a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna season our steak with salt and pepper. You can add garlic, you can add mushrooms, you can do whatever your little heart desires. But we're just gonna keep it really simple today and just do salt and pepper. So for a medium rare steak, you're going to sear it on either side for four to five minutes each. For a medium to well steak, which is something I think I'm gonna go with today, we're gonna to do about eight to 10 minutes on each side. Okay, so this is my cast iron grill, which is awesome, I love it. I'm gonna set my flames on, not too high. <laughs> It's gonna get real hot in here, but pretty high. And I'm gonna add some olive oil. Let's grab our steak. All right. Here we go. Let's pepper the crap out of that. Okay, we've cooked it on each side for about eight minutes each, so it's gonna be a nice medium to well done steak. Let's take it off. Okay, our steak is done. I'm gonna grab our french fries and aioli sauce and we're almost there. What is better than some french fries with your steak? Mmm, yum, yum, yum. All right, so we've got our aioli. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to our french fries, a little to our steak, a little pepper. Let's get a nice dollop of our aioli. I'm gonna swirl that around just one more time. Put that on the side like this. Enough for lots of dipping. All right, let's cut into this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, you guys. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Here we go. Bon appetit. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh my God. You know, I am not a big meat eater, I'm not. But I gotta tell you, when it's done right, which I did it right, pepper, it's pepper. Just lots of pepper and lots of searing. It's 
pretty good. Let's try it with the aioli. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is such a great recipe. This took like 15 minutes, like all together, really. I mean, maybe the fries took longer because they needed to bake, but it's so easy, so impressive. Do it on a date, do it for your husband, do it for your wife, whatever, do it for your boyfriend. You'll be like, I'm such a good cook. Like, I'm amazing. Look like what I made. I made you sick. Anyway, I gotta get to eating this, so thanks for joining me, you guys. I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. Catch me at yourreluctanthousewife.com on Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Your Reluctant Housewife. Say hey, leave comments, and I'll see you next time, guys.